This is a tutorial on how to use GeoGebra to um, do some calculus, finding tangents and um, normal lines to uh, different functions. And we're going to start with something simple, like a parabola. Um, it's useful to use function notation, f of x. Um, is equal to x. Now you can either do the caret squared here or uh, there is a list of symbols over here in the input line and you can see that you can have a u squared. Um, it, just so you know that if you want to work in degrees uh, like with a tri some trigonometry or something like that uh, you have to include this degree symbol after uh, the x in like, for example, sine of x, if you want to work in degrees. Um, but we can use this squared uh, right there and you get that. Um, and let's shift it um, up a little bit. There you go. The grid, now remember if we want to move this around, we can do that. Um, now, um, what we can do first is we can use this feature called the function inspector in order to find out some uh, important features of the graph. So we're going to inspect this function. Um, and then, so we've clicked on that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to select what function we're going to do, and then it gives us this here. Now. Um, you can choose any part of the graph you want to inspect. Um, this one here says from a negative 1 to 1. You can just type right in here. So uh, negative 2 to let's say uh, 2 and that gives you the interval over which you are inspecting. Um, and you can see here it's got the max and the minimum values of the local maximum and minimum. Um, and this one is, since it's a, a parabola um, opening upward, the minimum is at uh, 0, 2. Okay. Um, it gives us a maximum value, but that's only within the interval that we've specified. Um, you can see that it also has no roots or no solutions if you're looking for that kind of thing. Um, if you, um, you can also use the function inspector for other uh, things. Um, if you want to, for example, uh, solve something graphically, uh, you can click on this guy here. And um, if I want to know something about um, y when x is, um, let's say, 1, um, and I turn that on, you can see that it gives me kind of a graphical solution um, there. And I can, I can, if I'm, if I'm in this thing here, I can move this around. Um, okay, it also will give you tangent lines if you want to look at that. Um, it gives you kind of like an idea what that looks like. Um, it also will give you a table of, of points um, if you want to adjust the steps here um, for the table. So if you want to go up by every point zero one. There you go, you can find solutions near there. And um, it helps you with uh, how um, the tangent line is developed from a graph. Um, but, so we understand now that we can we can find the minimum point using this, so it's at zero, two. Uh, let's, let's put a point on that minimum. Um, so I'm going to go A, capital A, equals brackets here, down here in the, in the input bar. Um, 0 comma 2 and that will put that point there. Um, now um, if I want to know something about uh, the tangent line at that point which we will would expect the tangent line will have a gradient of 0 because it's at a minimum um, you can uh, go here where it says tangents and select that and you can see it says select point or line, then circle, conic, or function. So I'm going to follow those instructions. I'm going to select this 
line, I mean this point here first, and then if I roll over, you can see it, it gets bold up here if I select this function. And there you go. And it, it gives me the equation of the line. So let's try that again um, and see if we can get another equation of a line. Um, let's try it at um, b equals uh, 1 comma 3. And there's your b. And then we're going to find that tangent line again by clicking on the point and then the function. Um, and there we go. We have It gives us the equation for the tangent line, uh, 2x plus 1. Um, so you can do some derivative calculus doing that. You, um, you might notice also that it gives you the integral under the uh, interval stated, so between negative 2 and 2, this will give you the integral, the area underneath that curve. Um, and Okay, we can also um, do some more coordinate geometry. Uh, we can choose a perpendicular line here. And it says select point and perpendicular line. So uh, we've got a point here, and then if I you see if I select this line here, and it gives me it will give me the normal um, at that point of tangency. And again, you see here how it gives me the equation for that. So that's pretty useful for um, checking your answers if you're doing some calculus or doing some investigation about some patterns you might see in some calculus. Um, or just understanding how uh, derivative calculus works, for example. Um, okay, well, that's the uh, um, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, and enjoy your uh, calculus with GeoGebra.